hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and recently on my youtube channel i have been uploading videos about gradio framework and building chat interface using gradio framework as well and finally i have figured out a way to do this yes you have guessed it right uh, this is a streaming option on uh, chat interface and there is more as well yeah you can see that it shows the code and there is a copy uh, button as well so Let's get started and build this beautiful interface. Before we move forward, I would like to shout out for Gradio for developing this framework. Uh, with the help of Gradio, you can, you know, uh, build demos for your machine learning or artificial intelligence model uh, very easily with, you know, minimum lines of code. Now I am here inside my Visual Studio code and i have done three things first uh, created a virtual environment second activated the virtual environment and third installed two packages open ai and gradio i have two files uh, gradio ui.py and utils.py in gradio ui i have developed a gradio ui which is like this so i have chatbot message and clear this is chatbot this is message and this is clear button i have two methods first for message on submit first set the user response then generate response and create this uh, streaming option uh, on clear button when someone clicks on that just clear everything so here on message submit first this set user response will be called so it will set the user response like this first when i say hi you'll see that my response is set first and then it was waiting for uh, the bot's response and it has streamed the response as well so first it will set the user response and then it will you know get the ai response and stream it as well so let's look into both the functions so the first is set user response so this set user response will receive a message and chatbot so chatbot will be a chat history that will be list of lists uh, and each list consists of two item uh, user query and chatbot response so we will receive that chat history and this will be a list so we will receive that chat history what i do is that i just append user query into that and my ai or chatbot's response is none and i return that next uh, i have this generate response which receives the chat history and we will yield the chat history so that we can have the streaming option like this yeah so what we will do is that first we will generate messages based on chat history like this so if we go to open ai uh, api documentation open ai api references and if i go to chat uh, yeah create chat completion so chat completion will need list of messages where each item inside that list is a dictionary and that dictionary should have two things role and content so here i i set first 
dictionary or first first element of the messages as role system and content you are a helpful assistant and then i loop over all the existing chat history and create user and assistant response okay like so basically like this so i get uh, i return the formatted messages so i return so uh, here i'll receive that formatted messages from this uh, function then i have this chat completion where i'll pass this messages here you can see that this is this is simply the same function shown in the documentation except i have this stream true so when you enable stream true you will receive chunks of responses from open ai and i guess uh, yeah here is uh, the stream option and here is uh, python sample code basically i have copied my uh, work from this so here you can see that uh, there will be yeah this is the streaming option so with the help of this stream true you will receive chunks of uh, uh, response from open ai and then you can you know uh, collect those chunks and uh, put it into a list so that is what i am doing here i collect the chunks and push that uh, content of those chunks into this collected messages and i return that uh, list so this will be a list now finally what i do here that uh, i i receive all the all the all the chunks in a list so i loop over that and what i do is that i append those into chat history minus 1 that is the last uh, conversation and one you can see here one means the bot response and i append that and i return uh, the yield so that means you know uh, this chat history will receive information uh step by step and it will you know uh, let me something like right uh, let's say tell me a joke so when we will receive response yeah so this was the first line then this was the second line and this was the third line and we have yield yielded that response and by yielding we you know we feel it is streaming so this is how it works and uh, yeah i guess this is it so this is how we do it first we set the user's response uh, sorry uh, user's uh, query and then uh, we generate response and yield the response into the chat board and with that we see this kind of uh, streaming uh, functionality so i guess this is it from my part of the video uh, there is one small thing i am not sure i have mentioned or not so i'm reading my open ai api key from environment file so i have this dot env file which will have this key and the value will be my open ai api key and in order to read this open ai api key you need to install python hyphen dot env package as well so i guess uh, finally this is it from my side of the video in case you have gained some knowledge from this video please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching peace